So first wedge shot of the morning, ball sitting okay, no practice before I went out in terms of my short game and my fear is am I going to knife one through the back or can I make a decent contact? In that case, a decent contact, sit down ball, I'd take that any day of the week. But that's not always the case. That almost went too well and messed up the purpose and message in this video. But let's go from a tight lie from the other side and exactly the same principle. I just really am, when I'm not practicing this part of the game, then I am concerned just to, like I said, how well I can execute this shot when it matters. And again, just using that little bit of bounce, that's not done too bad at all. And I would take that any day of the week. But in recent weeks, Last weekend, in fact, I played in a golf competition, which I rarely do. And what I noticed, there was one glaring, obvious problem with my game. And when I say with my game, I think it's a problem with many of us in terms of average golfers. The short game is a problematic area. And what if I was to tell you that I have found a way of eliminating those mistakes, mitigating as many errors as possible, simplifying A, the stroke itself, maybe more importantly, there's a product that can help us make this or execute those shots just a little bit easier. And I say maybe. So let me explain my thought process in this. First of all, I wanna make clear, this is not a tutorial. As you all know, I'm in no position to advise anybody on how to play golf and certainly not on their short game. But what I noticed at the weekend was that because I hit a lot of golf balls in terms of collecting data for these videos, then my strike in terms of irons and driver is always reasonably good. That part of the game I can get away with, but I do not practice my short game at all. We have the odd nine holes round here, but like I said, I don't use these things, which is the short sticks, which often can make the difference between a good and a bad round. So what's the issue and how do I think I can resolve it? Well, first of all, I've got a sort of very simplified stroke that I've been using, which has been beneficial for me. And I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna tell you how to do it, because like I said, that's not my game, but I will tell you what I've been doing and how it's made it so much easier to just get a little bit of consistency. But then there's one other element that is very, very different, which I think is also key to perhaps helping us as average golfers be a little bit more consistent. And that, believe it or not, is the grip. I've got three different grips on here. Uh, I've got the new CPX Golf Pride grip, which is very, very different indeed. I'll talk about that very soon. I've got a standard grip on, but with four wraps of tape underneath, which has made a big difference in terms of the bulk and size of it. And then we've got one of these jumbo grips on a wedge, which you've seen before in previous videos. And I'm gonna show why each of these offers something incredibly different, but I think one, maybe two of these, offers something that can help us significantly in improving our short game. Stick with me. Kick on a bit, kick on a bit, kick on a bit. Now I would take that shot any day of the week. And one thing that I've done there is adopted this style of chip, which has made life easier for me. And that is by keeping the arms very, very straight. It's just a back and through putting motion, if you like, and it's took all, it takes my wrists out the game, it takes any arms and elbows in terms of breaking them. All I do is turn around my body, rotate a little bit, and try and commit in terms of pace, swinging through that, uh, that impact area. That's been the first thing that's been a massive positive for me. So it's a simplified technique, if you like. We've done it in previous videos where, like I said, all I am doing, keeping both arms straight, keeping a V in terms of uh, the, the two shoulders, the two arms into the club, into the grip, turning back, turning forward, making sure that I keep that exact same position, rotating around the body. And that for me has made, well, it's limited errors, let's put it that way. But it hasn't been just the technique that's made the difference. And if I go to the extremes and use the jumbo grip, which I used on that shot we've just seen, uh, the chip and run, if you like, this grip has been a significant game changer in me being able to execute that shot. And I've got some modified versions of uh, this kind of thing, if you like, a larger grip on wedge, because this isn't for everybody, don't get me wrong, but it certainly offers some incredible benefits to a lot of golfers. And when uh, faced again, ball a little bit lying down, just that same principle of back and two, you see the ball pops up quite nice. We've left that one a little bit short, but again, I've got it out the rough, 
I'm on just about to that putting surface. There's no knifing, there's no duffing, I'm not digging in. I'm just keeping it nice, nice and simple. And what the big uh, jumbo grip does is it kills your hands completely. It's almost sort of difficult to make that kind of flicky motion, if you like, and start breaking the wrist. And it just encourages that whole um, movement to be eliminated completely from the kind of short game and for me that's been really key like I said to execute all different kind of shots and that can be sort of a full wedge in to be quite honest with you with that you can be very handsy with but certainly in and around this area where there's the scoring shots where I've made a lot of errors this kind of thing is a huge huge help you know but if you don't like that then there's some other options that I think are still perhaps beneficial. So what are these other options that I referred to? For me, jumbo max grips are, that's a huge move for me to go into those for playing standard grips for so long. I think many of you will be the same. So I found that by putting four wraps of tape on a standard grip, that made a considerable difference to my sort of uh, killing the hands, like I said, I in fact went right through the bag by putting four wraps of tape on from wedges right the way through to driver. And I think it's improved my game considerably, but certainly down that shorter end of the bag, it's helped me that combined with that stroke in executing these shots I'm referring to. But then in terms of new grips, which has just come along since I've had this done, is this Golf Pride CPX grip. It's by far the biggest change in grip technology, if you like, for many, many years. It's so, so soft in terms of feel that I think that it's a possible big game changer moving forward for a lot of you when you buy your next set of irons. And I'm thinking of the sort of four wraps of tape combined with the CPX grip is a real sort of option for me. And you'll possibly see these on my clubs moving forward. But they just offer something very, very different. That's a super soft feel. And again, around the short game area in particular, I think that's a real bonus. So don't forget, any of these options are good. The stroke itself is really key to simplifying it. But I think by either putting extra wraps of tape on your grip or going down that route of the Jumbo Max is something that will also help massively in being able to eliminate those duff chips. So this is what I'm sort of gaming at present, which is like I said, four wraps of tape, keeping that putting stroke um, prevalent throughout the swing. And it just, sit down ball, it is just so much more confidence inspiring. I suppose ultimately it's about trying and trying and still needs an element of practice. But I feel like I can turn up now, play the first hole, having not practiced any short game for a week or two. And all I think about is that simple putting stroke and just executing that. And that simplified things massively for me. Now, this is a video that I still don't know, but uh, will we'll actually make it to the channel. But, uh, well, if you're watching this, it clearly has. The deliberation is this. This is very much about me and what I found. But I always considered when I started this channel that the whole idea was that I considered myself an average golfer, not based on handicap or ability, but based on I face the same problems that majority of you face every weekend. So something like confidence in the short game area, well, that's an issue no matter what level of handicap or ability you are at. And all I'm trying to do in today's video is report my experiences based on that sort of what I said in the competition at the weekend, see if that resonates with you and see if I can offer up perhaps some solutions, like I said, by no means think I'm in a position to advise anybody, but that's what I found. And hopefully, maybe it just helps one or two of you. And uh, if that does, then that's a good thing, yeah? Now, if any of you are wondering, well, what's it like to play a sort of, maybe a longer shot, we've got sort of 60 yards in here. I'm playing 58 degree wedge on all of the shots that you've seen today with the different grips on. But what is it like to play this kind of shot with a Jumbo Max grip on? Well, I can tell you, I absolutely love it. It's the same principle. It's just an extended version of that swing again. But you couldn't have this pin in a more difficult position. We're actually in a par three, and I've not landed here by any means. Uh, if anybody knows this hole, I've just pitched up to see what we can do in this sort of position. But 
as you see ball gets right up in the air very very easily indeed that's pitched up a little bit short and like I said that's a real difficult pin they put together for today's shotgun start later on but it's just the same principle I mean, my, my thought process is this if I could cope with the idea of putting them onto every club in my bag then I probably would do it the idea of putting it on three wedges I'm still a little bit unsure but without doubt the stroke I'm suggesting coupled with that grip is definitely the best option in simplifying that whole chipping and short game process in my opinion but I think I'm gonna to have to make a little bit of a compromise and sit somewhere in between the two with those four wraps of tape on and uh, mid-size grip maybe but my point is this very short video today I've tried to explain the logic I hope it made some kind of sense like I said earlier in that clip and this video has made it to the channel if you're struggling with your chipping game these are very simple options to try and make it just that little bit easier right thanks for watching I hope it helped. Give me your feedback and comments down below whether you know about the grips that have helped you, whether you know about the putting, uh, the chipping style has helped you in any way that you're using already. Then please give some feedback to your fellow golfers down in that comment section below. Right, I'm all done. Thank you for watching. See you soon.